Hi there, I'm Cyan and welcome to Something Sciencey. I've just handed in my dissertation, which is why this month's video is a little bit late, but it was on the growth rates of coral reef fish found in the Arabian Peninsula. A lot of research goes into coral reefs and it's not just because they're pretty, it's because they're full of so many different species that they're absolutely fascinating to study. While research scientists might like to think that they're really smart using all of their fancy schmancy equipment, there are actually lots of species on the reef that might give them a run for their money. When you think of using tools, you probably think of Stone Age humans, or even primates using sticks to get termites out of mounds. But I bet you don't think about fish. Well, the black spot tuskfish found on the Great Barrier Reef has been seen using specific rocks like an anvil to smash open clams to get to the tasty flesh inside. They are quite adept at using these rocks, unerringly hitting the shells in the same spot on the same part of the rock. Amazing. So yes, this fish can use tools, but so can another reef dwelling organism, the octopus. There have been records of octopi using coconut shells to protect themselves as they move across the ocean floor. Even better, the octopus, like other cephalopods, can camouflage themselves with their surroundings by not only changing colour, but also the texture of their skin. Octopi can often be seen crawling along the floor disguised as a rock one minute, only to transform into a nearby coral the next. What makes this really impressive though, is the octopus is actually colour blind. We don't know how it knows which colour to turn, it's an absolute mystery. But what about using another organism to keep you safe? Much like humans keeping pets to guard their houses, clownfish live inside anemones to keep them safe from predators. Now the anemone itself is a predator which can shoot toxic spikes from its waving fronds at passing fish, which it then feeds into its mouth, which also doubles as its anus. So how does the clownfish get away from living near such a vicious predator? It immunises itself against the toxins, much like humans do against diseases with vaccines, by rubbing up against the fronds to build up a mucus. The anemone also gets something out of this. The clownfish will feed it morsels of food that are too big for itself to make sure that the anemone goes big enough for the entire family, and also so that it doesn't get too hungry and eat the clownfish itself. So the reef is full of amazing creatures, but it's also in danger. You've probably heard of coral bleaching, but what exactly does that mean? Well, corals are living creatures that are able to grow because of microscopic algae called zooxanthellae that live inside the cells, which can photosynthesize sunlight like plants. The zooxanthellae are what give corals their beautiful colors, but they don't like it too hot. And when the ocean gets warmer, they leave the coral cells to find somewhere better, which makes the corals look white and bleached. And why is the water getting warmer? Well, it's because of us humans, of course, causing climate change. And I'm pretty sure that that qualifies us for the stupidest creatures on the reef after all. Hi there, I hope you enjoyed that. Please be sure to like this video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more monthly science videos. If you do have any comments or questions, write them in the comment box below. And I'll try and get back to you either in the comments or if there's enough questions, I'll make a video on the third Thursday of the month. But as always, you've come for the science, now stay for the song. Tusk fish has a